This is Teacher Sharon, your daily food processing teacher. Yesterday, we tackled about personal entrepreneurial competencies or pets. You have completely determined the good qualities of entrepreneur. You have also learned the names of some business tycoons behind the successful establishment in the country. Aren't you inspired to become one of them? We believe you are. Now, we are one step closer to reaching our goal in setting up a business that is inclined to your chosen career. This time, we will be dealing with environment and market. At this moment, it will guide you in identifying appropriate business environment and market in your area, which products are trending, and the key points to remember in starting up your future business. After you finish this module, you will expect it to Recognize and understand the market in food processing. Second, recognize the potential customer market in food processing. Before we proceed, please try to answer the pre-assessment. Try to diagnose, assess what you already know about environment and market by answering the activities from page 3 to 5. What is market? The term market has been derived from the Latin word marketus, which refers to the method or place of contact between buyers and sellers. Market is defined as a place or point at which buyers and sellers negotiate for exchange of well-defined products or services. Traditionally, market was referred to a public place in a village or town where provisions and other objects were brought for sale and it's said to exist whenever there is a potential for trade. Markets are fundamentally about supply and demand. Most markets rely on sellers offering their goods in exchange for money from buyers. Key Concepts of Market On the basis above mentioned definitions, we can mention the following key concepts of market. First key concept of market is commodity and products. A commodity is a basic good used as an input in the production of goods and services. A product, on the other hand, is the finished goods sold to consumers. It is a tangible item that is put on the market for acquisition, attention, or consumption, while a service is an intangible item, which arises from the output of one or more individuals. In most cases, services are intangible, but products are not always tangible. Next, key concepts of market is buyers and sellers. Buyers and sellers are also essential for market. Without buyers and sellers, the sale-purchase activity cannot be conducted which is essential part of a market. Buyer is also called consumer or customer. These are people with needs and wants that must always be satisfied to guarantee the profit. They are employed to select and purchase stock or materials for a large retail or manufacturing business. Conversely, a seller, also called vendor, is an individual or entity who exchanges any good or service in return for payment. The third key concept of market is area. There should be an area in which buyers and sellers of the commodity live in. It is essential that the buyers and sellers should come to a particular place to transact the business. The fourth key concept of market is communication. There should be close contact and communication between buyers and sellers. This communication may be established by any method. The fifth key concept of market is competition. The better you know your competition, the more equipped you are to market your products or services effectively. So who are your competitors?
There are three types of competitors. The direct competitors, indirect competitors, and replacement competitors. Direct competitor offers the same products and services aimed at the same target market and customer base. Another type of competitors is indirect competitor. It's another company that offers the same products and services. However, the end goals are different. These competitors are seeking to grow revenue with a different strategy. Last types of competitors is replacement competitor. It's considered someone who can replace your products or services altogether by providing a new solution. They can create and provide a newer, faster, and more productive solution or product. And there is a little you can do to prevent consumers from preferring those options. Environmental scanning is a tool used in identifying business opportunities. The process utilizes systematic surveys and interprets relevant data about events, trends, and relationships in the external environment of the business to formulate a course of action. That's all for today. Again, this is Teacher Sharon. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.